Hey, YouTubers, it's Brent. Get back to golf. You guys never see me hit off that first tee. Usually there's like a crowd of people around, but I guess everybody's at work today. They aerated the greens, but they don't look too bad. At least the practice screen doesn't. So, uh, nursing a sore neck. Uh, <laughs> nursing, that's a tough one. Nursing a sore neck. So we'll see how this works. Swing might be a little bit slower than usual, if it can get any slower. Anyway, let's play on. Pretty sweet divot too, I gotta say. Let's knock that in for birdie. All right, maybe there's something to this sore shoulder and uh, swinging soft. I'm gonna just hit two perfect shots right there. Really nice release. All checked up tight. It's a small green. First hole's pretty tough. Doesn't give me any uh, room for error, but it's short. As I say, a short par four. Let's tap this thing in and see how these greens hold with the. Uh, Aerated aeration. All right, as you can see, they uh, aerated the snot out of the green and then top dressed it. So, uh, well, the toughest part is it's really not that it, it's bumpy or it doesn't roll right because it's got the top dressing, it's that the ball is so sandy, you always got to clean it off. So, I don't like sandy balls. Let's see if I knock this thing in. I hit it pretty close, checked up a little. No idea what the speed's gonna be, so let's see if I can knock this thing in. I think it's gonna be slow. It was slow, knocked it in. One under par. That's it, I quit. <laughs> Just kidding. Alright, so one under for one hole. Kinda like that. Um, the next hole I might not be able to video. The greenskeeper guy is uh fixing the, the green, I guess, I don't know, <laughs> and some greenskeeper. So anyway, um, uh, a little tip for you, if the greens are top dressed and aerated, just uh, make sure you mark your ball, clean your ball, and uh, I mean, if you don't have like a towel or anything, just use your sock. As, as you can see, uh, that's what I used. Just clean your ball off, keep it as clean as possible, because once you hit it, it's just going to gather all the sand back on it again, so let's see if I can hit a shot out of here, out of the galley. Boom. All right, even though these are short par fours, they're tough because if you hit the ball high, you will hit those trees up there. You kinda gotta punch it low. So, I can't really punch it low. I never really tried with a the driver. There's really not any uh, advantage. I usually just use the, uh, the four iron. As you can see, and I'll just kind of three-quarter it right into that flat area and then just kind of punch an eight on. Pretty easy hole, but you can get you can get caught if you hit one of these trees, which it's a lot looks a lot narrower than it looks on video maybe. But it's tight. I gotta cut this one too. It's gotta go out by the trees and cut over there.
best shot, but not a horrible shot. It did cut a little around a tree, but I got a heck of a shot to go ball over this pine. Let's see what I can do. I'd hit the pitching wedge. That's some heavy salad, as you can see. But it's on the green, so another birdie try. Boom. The uh, ball actually, the greens are so soft, this, this green is tilted towards me and spun like 20 feet back out of the rough. I did hit it pretty good out of the rough, so uh, I'm gonna leave the pin in, see if I can knock this thing in for bird. I didn't hit it hard enough. Oh, oh well, tapping hard. All right, I'll take a par. It was a bad tee shot. I got away with a good second shot. Didn't hit it hard enough on my putt, but it was close enough for a tap in. Now, the one thing that's bad about hitting from the fringe on that one, I couldn't clean my ball off. That sucked. I just I had tons of sand all over my putter. So anyway, next hole. Not the best, but it'll work. In the best of shots, but uh, in the fairway. Let's see if I can. I'm gonna go with the three wood. Try to fade this thing. Power fade it. Alright, did the opposite. Man, three weeks and not playing, I'm pretty rusty. Um, that one was supposed to fade, it didn't fade at all. Well, it faded a little bit, but now I got a crazy chip. Anyway, it would have been on the green. If it did cut, but just didn't cut enough. Anyway, story of golf. Whew. Fall golf at its best. Alright, I did not, as you can see the member in the back, I was stuck. I wasn't stuck, I like stop. I stopped and talked with him for a while. He's a great guy. So many interesting stories of these guys. So anyway, uh, crushed a three iron out here, the driving iron, as always. Put it out center cut. I did not get it on video due to the fact that I was kinda chatting away. Anyway, let's knock this thing on. Or back, it's par five, knock it up. What else do you want from that, huh? Perfect. Driving iron. Link in description. Buy one. Get one free. I, I meaning, you buy the three iron, you get the two iron. Come as a package. Boom. All right, I crushed that three iron. Perfect. I mean, I, I never hit that thing bad, ever. Anyway, if you guys uh, are interested in buying them, they're only a limited time. I'm not trying to give you the sales pitch, but you got to click the link. I am an affiliate. I'm not a, I don't work for Bomb Tech. I'm an affiliate of theirs. So if you click on it, I get like five bucks or something. Every little bit counts. And I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Boom.
close one. All right, I just hit that one pure. It's pretty tight too, I can see it. Gorgeous day out, guys. I haven't played dolphin since my last vlog, so I think that was like three weeks ago. Injuries actually helped my swing. A lot of breath, out of shape. Well, round is a shape, right? So, anyway, I forgot that one hole. I didn't recap it because a member was there. I didn't want to break out the camera and have to answer all these questions. But uh, after that three wood, I chipped it up and two putted for bogey. So I'm even par for the round. See if I can get one back here. I didn't bring my putter, but it's a pretty short. I leave my bag back there and then just play these next few holes without carrying. It's a lot easier. It's fun. Boom. All right, I should have probably, probably should have brought my putter. It was a lot further than I thought, but uh, hey, another par. So still leaving par. That one's my bad. Should have probably bought the putter. I just didn't feel like carrying it. <laughs> um, it was a lot further. I thought the pin was back more, but it was up. Um, I don't have one of those seeker things or whatever they call it, range finders. It is what it is. I mean, if somebody wants to send me one, I'll use it. I'm not paying $300 for one. Just here to have fun. All right, let's knock a whole one here. Boom. All right, I was calling for that ball to cut. It didn't. Uh, felt really good off the club. It spun, spun back a little bit, but it's pretty, it's makeable. I'll have my putter with me. I usually just sometimes I'll just leave the clubs. Should have grabbed the putter. But I'm just having fun today. Let's see if I can blade it in with the iron for bird. Still a pretty decent shot. It did cut a little, just not as much as I wanted to. See if I can knock this thing in with a different blade. Little tin cup action there, baby. Birdie. Boom. All right. Knock that in for birdie. See, I don't sometimes need a putter. I swear I can get this around this whole course. I'm gonna have to do it with just a six iron. Um, probably do it with just a seven or an eight too. Probably shoot under par. So back to under par, having fun, goofing around. Back to back par threes. See if I can sink one one of these days. I'm gonna zoom in. So you'll be my witness if I make it in. Just out of the whole plays, down around, but let's zoom into the green. In case I get a hole in one. <laughs> Always be optimistic. See what I can do. Ah, not enough juice. Too short. Alright. Thing stuck like a dart, as you guys can see. Anyway. Long putt for birdie, it's always nice. I mean, three birdies on a round would be awesome. I think I'm gonna actually use the putter. Got my clubs with me. Um, like I said, there's a couple spots in this course where you can just grab a few clubs, leave them, and then you don't have to, you can cart around a lot quicker, faster, and lighter. It's always the key. Anyway, see if I can knock this thing in. As you can see, divot, spun back a little. Still a long putt. Let's see if I can drain it. Oh, it's a little bit more speed. Would have had it. I like these tappings for par. Nice. I tell you, these greens were just freshly aerated with top dressing. I said this before, tearing it up. You should only play in the fall with its aerated greens. <laughs> Maybe that's my problem. The greens are too good. They're better when they're crummy. Yeah, I pay attention better. 
I just missed that one for birdie. That would have been a good, I don't even know how many, 30 footer. Oh well, tap-ins are fun too, for par. All right, let's big out, break out the big dog. I don't need it, but I'll hit it anyway because everybody requests it. Strong power feed. Boom. Gotta hit fairways. Fairways and greens, baby. All right. Swung a little slow on that. And, uh, usually if I can't keep my club head speed up, I'll play a little bit more of a fade. So I played it off that, that one, like, red tree. I don't know if you can see it. Probably can't. Anyway, played it off that. Power faded out. Again. Neck feels like it's loosening up, so maybe it was just that I haven't played golf in three weeks. Could be the case. Doctor said exercise. Doing the best I can. Been too much uh, travel uh, softball. Kids getting ready for school. But they're off to school, so hopefully I'll be on the course a little bit more as long as I can stay motivated, right? <laughs> so make sure uh, you guys like and comment and all that stuff. Can we, uh, keep the drive alive. No pun intended. <laughs> All right, let me knock this one uh, close. Boom. All right, guys. If you're wondering how much roll I got on this ball, <laughs> that's how much roll I got on the drive from all the way back there. Boom. Let's mark. Big giant hole. Place. Boom. Took that one in a little low. Tried to uh, fire it in like a dart, and it worked pretty well. Checked up pretty well. Got another putt for birdie. Whew. You know, it's really nice and gorgeous. I'm still sweating. I swear I can sweat in a meat locker. But uh, anyway, that thing, hope you guys got to see that on video. I don't, the video might have been too low. But I think it was like a one half bounce, just stuck. It was great. I love shots like that. Keep them low, under the wind. Let's go put that one in for birdie. Mm. All right, just missed that one. Another par. Can't complain. The tee box is super far back today. Make this hole really, really interesting. Low draw. Worked out pretty well. Alright, low draw. Still had it in the bag. Wasn't sure if I still had that one in the bag. Uh, maybe with the uh, hurt shoulder, neck, I was able to uh, swing within myself. Anyway, tough hole. Always gets me. Love to birdie it. Only birdied it like, I think twice this whole year. It gets a little easier once it gets colder. That, that drive would have went another 50 yards in a roll. The ground's hard. Anyway, good round, fun day. Maybe I need to take three weeks off more often. What do you guys think? All right, let's get back to golf. Can't get any better than that. Again, bomb tech, driving iron, three iron to be exact the three driving iron, to be really exact. Um, off the turf. Worked out well. Just gotta chip out. Tap in for birdie. That's the plan. Let's do it. Crisp. It's tight. Yeah, I didn't realize how tight it was. It was a little in the sun. 
hard to see. Let's see if I can knock this thing in for already. No, I'm not trying to run. One under, one to go. Can I do it? Yes, I can. Sounds like Bob the Builder. <laughs> All right, let's carry on. Last hole. All right, I hit that wedge so crisp. I really, I couldn't see it when it landed. And it, it was tight. I think stuck like a dart. It's great. I love when that happens. And uh, even with the area of greens, you know what it is? The greens are holding really well. Um, so you can, you can go for the flag, not that I'm that accurate, but this is just, uh, I don't know, I feel really focused today. All right, let's drive one out, last hole, boom. Not the best drive, but uh, it'll do. The, uh, there's like a whole bunch of birds fighting in the middle of the fairway. If I hit him, it'll be, uh, it'll be pretty. Sorry, bad joke. Anyway, I'm out there pretty far. Might build. All I gotta do is hang on, get a par here, and stay one under for nine. And that's it. Into the clubhouse I go. All right, let's do it. Boom. All right, it's on. I cut it a little more than I wanted to, but there's a hit, wind's picking up right in my face, so it probably amplified it a bit. Anyway, putt for birdie. Two putt, one under for the day. Let's do it. All right, I had a cut stance. It's kind of in the hole. Hit it clean. I wanted to keep it low because the wind's kind of picking up a little bit. Um, try to play it off that bunker and have it cut over. You got to be careful because if you hit anywhere there, it'll it'll go right into that bunker. So I kind of wanted to just hit a little bit right of flag, and I know that putt well. I can two putt it for par, maybe even sink it for bird. Two under for the day. All right, let's do it. So drain this. It's for two under. Par, stay one under. Obviously, you guys can do the math. <laughs> Easy math. Came up short, par, one under for the day. All right guys, that's a hell of a round for not playing for three weeks. Um, I left it short. I just wanted the par, I wanted, I didn't want to three putt it. It was kind of hard to three putt it because I had a really, I had a, hit it pretty hard, it kind of jumped off the face. Thought it was gonna make it, it just died. But anyway, good round guys. Hope you guys are getting back to golf, it's fall. Get it all in while you can. Like, click, subscribe, share it with a friend. And of course, if you guys get those bomb tech club clubs, make sure you click my referral link. I've had a couple people forget to click, and actually, uh, they emailed bomb tech. So if you did ever forget to click and you found the bomb tech clubs here, and you didn't, hey guys, camera shut off. Um, I just got to say that uh, I just wanted to finish that wrap up. Um, if you guys ever bought a bomb tech club or anything or whatnot and didn't click that referral link. And found the clubs from my site please email let them know um, I do get an affiliate uh, cut out of it I don't know what the percentage is it's not a lot of money but it does help and uh, it keeps these uh, golf logs alive so uh, if you guys like them make sure you comment below like click subscribe my SD card was full <laughs> and it just completely cut out so just wanted to hop in in the uh, studio and uh, finish this up. I'll see you guys later. Get back to golf. Peace.